Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV on Realm Reborn. It is year 2, day 74 for EDSS in the Realm Reborn. And last time, we started on the final Inspector Hildebrand mystery by trying to figure out some information on an ancient war between Ulda and a former nation known as Silda. And so, in order to continue this pursuit, we've come here to Horizon, where we seek to find a person known as Guguria. And by judging at the map, I think he may be, yeah, directly across from where we warped when we arrived using the Aetherite Shard. So, let's speak with Mr. Guguria. Hello there. Yes, if you've got business, make it quick. My time's too valuable to be wasting chatting with every stranger who passes by. Uh, forgive us, good sir. My name is Zelly, a reporter with Myth or Lie, never blinking or seeing. You know the rest. I was wondering if we could trouble you with just a few questions. Was it for love or money that you killed them? Yes, you were the thief of many faces. Uh, me? A, a thief? What is this nonsense? Yeah, you know, always jumping to conclusions, aren't we? I don't know who you are, but I ain't got the time or patience for this memory. Now, if you'll excuse me, an important client awaits. I thought I recognized that voice. Uh, Lady Do Lady Dorilda, well met indeed. Pray tell whatever brings you to these environs this fair day. Why I live here, you half hearted ham handed half wit. Actually, you live over in Vesper Bay, but it's close by, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Inspector Bryden, this is an unexpected pleasure. Do you have some business one with my associates here, pray tell? Uh, Guguria, we can discuss business after. Pray lend the inspector here the handsome one, whatever assistance he requires. <laughs> uh, but Lady Derilda, what about... Ah, uh, uh, yes, my dear Maria's birthday present. I had in mind one of the prize pieces from Astaim's latest seasonal collection. You will be able to procure one for me, yes? Or shall I eliminate the middleman and make the trip to Uldar myself? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want that to happen. I'll just say it once more, Goguria. I expected to give the inspector and his companions a full assistance. They, yes, even the stupid one, helped me regain something truly priceless. Yes, something more valuable than any mere trinket. Yeah, we helped her to regain one of her old vases. But we weren't able to give her the item that she really wanted. Alright, alright, I'll tell you what I know, but you didn't hear from me, got it? I was looking into the killing on behalf of a client of mine. The thief got himself some of that zombie dust, the traitor's spurn was it? And his cards speak of five victims. It got me to thinking, Soda, five victims? I, the Arbiters of Truth! The Arbiters of Truth? I'm not familiar with that name. I, few would be on account of them being something of a secret society and all. Influential personages of the Sultanate, you see, working from the shadows to keep false knowledge about the old Asilda conflict from reaching the ears of folk like you and me. False knowledge. Pray tell, just what sort of knowledge might that be? False knowledge, duh. Those balls don't make me say no more, I've got a family to feed! Very well, just tell us one last thing. Who hired you, and where can we find him? Uh, Hob, his name's Hob. When he heard what I said, he told me that he was going to set sail for Limsa with his five best cell swords to guard his back. Said there were many prying eyes at the airship docks. Said he had a private ship docked and waiting for him at Vesper Bay. But remember, you didn't hear none of this from me. This man Hobb must be one of the killer's targets. Doubtless he also knows the identity of the remaining one. I doubt that. The Arbiters are s they say the Arbiters are so secretive they don't even know each other's true identities. Now don't ask me how all that works, but... Hobb's got high rank and friends of the Brass Blades. Once he heard the victims had all been zombified, he panicked. Guess he knew that he'd be next. Thank you very much, my kind shot. Once again, the ancient band of Al-Artipole procured us for our key morsel of knowledge. Let us seek out this hub fellow and see what he can share with us. And let us hurry. The man's life is in danger even as we speak. And once again, taking credit where it doesn't belong. But it is a good idea we have to pursue. 
Don't worry, Guguria. We'll try and make sure that you don't die yourself. So now, we, yeah, we have to go west to Vesper Bay, the original home of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn, to hunt for this man named Hob. Yeah, it's been quite a while since we made this journey. I'm sure you remember that back on year one, we made this journey quite a few times because, of course, this being the home of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, we've had to make more than a few trips to this particular area. And of course, since this was the area where the second Hildebrand mystery took place, it really shouldn't come as that much of a surprise that we would be doing this particular challenge in this particular area. Because, yeah, this last Hildebrand mystery really will be an opportunity to revisit a lot of the things that we've already done in the first four Hildebrand mysteries. Yeah, sorry, I thought it was getting a little dry, but it looks like we're going to find our person of interest right at the entrance to Vesper Bay. In fact, we don't need to even get off the chocobo before we have to get find out what happened. Master Hob, is everything quite alright? No, stand back, Ellie! Yeah, there's a reason for that. Hunger! I hunger for your brains! Damn it! There's no saving the man! It did do what you must! Yeah, I think there's only one course of action here. Yes, my first hand knowledge of zombies tells me this particular shade of green is unmistakably that of the undead. Would seem where we are a few moments too late to the scene. A message, and then there was one. Yeah, remember our mysterious shadow person? Well, they're still hovering about. That it is again. Hmm. Is something the matter, Inspector? Indeed, not sure. There is. Ever since I picked up the trail of the Phantom Thief, I've had this fleeting sense. A sense that someone or something is watching us. The thief might be close at hand. We should be careful. For the moment, let us return and report our findings to Captain Felisa. Secret society or no, knowing the identities of its members may yet lead us to the final victim. I definitely think that's a good idea. I too had best return to the myth or lie. Let's meet up again after. I'll see what new clues I can uncover in the meantime. You would do nothing of the sort, Miss Ellie. These streets are far too dangerous for you to walk alone. I Inspector! Inspector! I'll go with her! If you insist, Nashu, then I give my leave. But pray be wary. Not just of the thief, but of Miss Ellie. She has quite the temper as we both know. Yeah, do you really want to be saying that right in front of her? Yeah, and of course, she's not going to be afraid to uh, tell her like it is. So, Inspector Bryden, I get the feeling they have an observation to provide. Miss Ellie, there is something I must tell you when this case is over. Be safe, and promise me that you will not attempt anything rash as you did that time when the fiend took aim at my own life. Your life, Inspector? Ah, oh, it cost a little soul. Uh, yes, that was quite the ordeal, wasn't it? I'll be careful, I promise. I eagerly await the day when I may hear what it is you would share with me. A secret vow, oh ho. Consider my interest picked as well, good inspector. Now, let us be off. Captain Phyllis awaits our report. Yeah, all the mean well mean in the meantime, Edie was looking in a different direction, like, I'm not dirtying my hands with this. <laughs> but it's good they're all working together, so. Meet you guys in a moment, back over near the Alchemist Guild, where we'll speak with Captain Phyllis. Alright, the sun may have set in old on, but we still have a task to take care of, so let's go ahead and speak with Miss Phyllis to complete this challenge. No, Humphrey, we can't speak with you on this. A, a fourth victim? A full of mercy! Were we able to glean all for a connection to the other victims? The Arbiters of Truth? Uh, no, it cannot be! SOMEBODY HELP! Uh oh. Yeah, we heard Miss Ellie screaming. 
Uh, Miss Ellie, uh, the voice came from the direction of the vault. We must hurry. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Let's get on it right now. Miss Ellie, are you hurt? Uh, that man! I thought I'd only ask him a few questions. Before I knew what was happening, he was upon me. I could only... Bosch's brains with a conveniently placed portal of meat at one sheet. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side, Miss Ellie. That shard is not sure not worth you. She saw a figure lurking in the shadows and went off in pursuit before I could stop her. This man wears the armor of a Sultan Son Squire, yet his face is unfamiliar to me. Something is amiss. And thus, the masking dust used. Oh, was the. Oh! The thief of many faces! To think that we would find our man like this! Ah, we got it. <laughs> Thrice and again did the fiend Aluda grasp, but no more. By virtue of a gentleman's ingenious deductions and a lady's pugilistic poetions, I declare this case closed. I return the sachet to you, my dear Captain Phyllis. Whilst the gesture was appreciated, in the end it proved superfluous to my cracking of the case. Uh-oh. <laughs> and of course he slips and falls on the bottle. <laughs> and that's Inspector Hildebrand for you. Why not? Is there anything else of immense value that you were allowed to wantonly destroy? What the? Um, huh? Uh, what is the meaning of this? Yeah, that's a good question. Like, did we reveal the, who the feast's true identity is? Ingenious. A double disguise. Planted by the thief to throw us off his trail, no doubt. This is Kinku, one of my most capable men. I signed him to guard the vault and outfitted him with an ample supply of damasking dust. It is inconceivable that the thief could so easily elude his grasp. Yeah, we were giving this guy a bit of concern. Yeah, Inspector Hildebrand what fluked into this one. Unless the thief was not wearing a mask. Oh, what are you getting at there, Inspector? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Michelle? No! Th that's impossible! Of course. It all makes perfect sense. With the Phantom Thief to thank for her burgeoning leadership and rise to the ranks of the myth or lie, Michelle could not bear to face the possibility for a story of a lifetime coming to an end. Thus, she plotted a plan to... Yeah, of course, he's way off track. Is it gone? Captain, the vault has been breached! The wise men's whisper, it's gone! Yeah, that's what we feared. For her foul crimes against the Sultanate, I hereby declare Ellie of the Mythal Eye, the thief of many faces, an enemy of the state. Deploy all troops and do not rest until she is in custody. Yeah, you heard right. It's like, she's the villain? And now the game is truly afoot. Is she really our shadow girl? Our shadow guy? Bah! What is the meaning of all this rockets and rumpus? And just as we were about to make our triumphant return, isn't that so in Kadu? <laughs> yeah, like, Ellie, you are the enemy? And in the meantime, yeah, not you looking for Ellie. Uh, Miss Ellie! Miss Ellie! That shadow you see you saw? I think it was just Dormouse! Unfortunately, you just got taken out by a doppelganger. To think he literally stumbled first face onto the second mask. His good fortune truly knows no end. Yeah, that... What's going on now? But not to worry. Yes, I dare say the Phantom Thief has another trick or two up his sleeve. Yeah, it's like, there is a lot of confusion going on right now. 
we have to figure out right now what's causing it. And why is it going down the way it is? Is Ellie really the phantom thief that Phyllis suspects she is? Well, the only way to find out is to continue to speak to Captain Hildebrand. Or Inspector Hildebrand. Yeah, he's not the captain. Phyllis is. So let's take the challenge entitled Beneath the Mask. Not even a truly shocking turn of events will deter Inspector Hildebrand. My ever loyal associate, we must find Michelle and quickly. Surely, if confronted by our constant companions, she can still be convinced to abandon this full plan. Oh ho, Captain Phyllis, I thought you had already departed in the company of your men, but all for the better. Shall we conduct our shots together? I fear that would only put him at them at great risk. But then what are we to do? You see, the fifth and final member of the Arbiters of Truth, the Phantom Thief's final target, is none other than... Hildebrand Mander? No, don't even go there. M me! Mind you, it's not a role I sought of my own accord. My name and my passion for history are somewhat well known in the Sultanate. One day, I received an anonymous letter stating that a position in the committee had opened, and that I had been chosen to fill it. The letter went on to enumerate my duties, to prevent the spread of historical lies that would sully the name of our illustrious nation. As a high-ranking officer in the Sultan's Sworn, I was deemed to be in a particularly unique position to serve as an arbiter. I knew that there were other members of the organization, but was told nothing of their names or identities. To think that my unknown compatriots were the victims all along. But I cannot put any more lives in danger. I will sequester myself in a place where my presence can cause no harm until such time as the killer is apprehended. You can't fight for yourself? Your concern for our well-being is most touching, Captain Phyllis. But there is no need for such caution. As a seasoned inspector, I am more than capable of protecting a lady in distress. And, as a gentleman, that is exactly what I shall do. My associates here also stand at your side. Speaking of which, has anyone seen my loyal assistant? Yeah, not nice you. <laughs> Inspector, over here! Yeah, that would be the Phantom Thief masquerading as Nashu. Oh, there you are, Nashu. You really shouldn't run off on your own like that. I was worried sick about you. Oh, I'm sorry, Inspector. Miss Ellie said she saw somebody in the shadows, so I went to take a look. Now, there wasn't anything there but a dormouse, but it was a really cute dormouse, you see. It just kept squeaking and scurrying away, and I just... Going on. Pardon me for a moment, Nashu. Yes, my inspector's sense speaks to me. Someone is watching us, CD. Let us split up and canvas our surroundings. <laughs> yeah, with the faint of thief at our side. Yeah, because it certainly seems to be the phantom thief, because of course, a doppelganger of Nashu, that's never good. Well, here we find a water stained letter. How appropriate since it's raining in Old Al, which doesn't happen often. Be wary and be warned. And so it said we have to continue searching for evidence. So, here's the second water stain letter. Yeah, are we following the trail of bread comes right into a trap? Trust no one and your friends all the less. And then, around this corner. And these things are all over the place. This will avail you well. Use it wisely. You obtain a sachet of demasking dust. In the next instant, you feel an intimidating presence behind you. Uh-oh. Do we have to go to arms? Ah, Godbert! <laughs> if it isn't my beloved son's staunch companion, the mighty Edie. Yeah, warrior of light at your service, or at least... I was. I was on. I was in the area on a matter of business, which I curtailed when I felt a suspicious presence from the shadows. Pursuing it, let me hear. May happen it is the same for you. Well, at least you're not in your underwear. Oh, so your pursuit of the thief of many faces has taken quite the unexpected turn, and now you've come upon a series of anonymous letters. Mayhap our watcher in the shadows is a friend, or oh, this is but another trap laid by the fiend. 
Yes, the plot thickens like a dollop of salamander oil. In either event, I dare say the circumstances call for utmost caution. The thief could be anywhere or anyone. Myself excluded, of course. No mere mask could replicate the physique of this mindable man. <laughs> that said, I fear my dear Hildy may be in a bit over his head this time. Allow me to insist in your investigation. Were anything to happen to Hildebrand, his dear mother would uh, not be pleased. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, but Gumbert wants to sleep with us back towards where we followed this trail of breadcrumbs. So, let's go and follow it right back to over here. If the sender speaks true, the villain even now lurks within our midst. And yet, we have but a single sachet of demasking dust at our disposal. We must identify the imposter beyond reasonable doubt before we proceed. Yeah. It's standing on to your right. You know the players better than I, Edie. Let's have you say a few words with each of them, and see if it's all odd seems amiss. Alright, that we will do. Well, we know the routine, but let's go ahead and humor everyone. Am I doomed to share the same fate as the others? I'd sooner die than become one of those... things! Inspector Bryden? Miseli is the Phantom Thief. It is the only logical conclusion, and yet, I cannot help but fear that another truth still evades us. And now, who is really the Phantom Thief? Ellie? Uh, Inspector Bryden told me all about it. Who'd have thought Miss Ellie was the Phantom Thief all this time? She sure fooled me. But you can't fool me, though. Hopefully, we'll be able to reveal you in a moment. And so, nothing particularly odd about any of them, you say. It stands to reason. The fiend would not take such risk if he were not utterly confident that he could pull off the ruins. Curses! This is not half the fool his son is. I must delude men quickly. Time is of the essence. Hey there, Hildebrand. Welcome back. But is it really you? <laughs> well, of course we know it's really you. I question the short and short outside. To a man they are shish they have seen not of Michelle. Wherever could she have gone? Uh, and father, what brings you here? <laughs> he's uh, gonna lend a hand. But hopefully he's not gonna suplex someone so hard that he destroys half a building. Yes, the fist pi finally the pieces are coming together. Now if you would kindly stand still and shut up, the fiend already stands among us. Uh, Inspector Bryodon, I should hope you are not doubting me. Well, I am quite convinced that even a master impersonator will struggle to recreate your particular brand of EDRC. The fact remains that anyone here who has spent even a moment alone must be considered a suspect. The thief has proven to be highly efficient at assuming our identities. An astute observation, my gangly friend. I'd say this occasion calls for a douse or two of that powder Edie found lying about. There wouldn't be happen to be another sachet or two lying about, would there? Oh, what remains of our supply has already been distributed to the search party, but why not? They should be reporting back within a bell's time. <laughs> time may be against me, but just you watch. I'll wiggle my way out of this and turn you into the reeking, drooling corpse you deserve to be. I feel that there is more time than we can afford, Captain Phyllis. Fortunately, my powers of deduction will lay the fiend face bear within minutes. We know that given the choice, the thief prefers to impersonate familiar personages. As Michelle has only had passing interactions with my dear father, we can safely eliminate him from the consideration. That leaves myself, Nashu, and Edie here. Nashu and I, in particular, have had a close and extended relationship with our suspect. I shall begin by questioning my own assistant. I assure you that none know her better than I. Brilliant reasoning as ever, Inspector! Go on, ask Nashu anything! Uh, you just gave yourself away. Of all the times for this other stuff buffoon to start talking sense. If he asks me of anything too obscure, my cover is as good as blown. My relationship with Nashu is close. I dare say at times it is as if we share a mind. If this not she is truly my ever-loyal assistant, she should have no trouble completing my thoughts. Ahem! 
I'm a Mondor, Mondor, Mondorville. Mom! Doing what only a Mondorville. From the peaks of Carthage to Thanalan, Mander, Mander, Manderville. Man, you're the best inspector! A perfect score. You may rest easy, dear friends. This is unmistakably, unequivocally, indubitably, the true Nashu. And you're an idiot. You made it too easy for her. I've never loved you more than now, you marvelous modern head, you! Nashu, is something the matter? Just because you picked up more than a few wrinkles beneath the eyes, there is no need to avert that charming face of yours. Wrinkles? Wrinkles? Look who's talking, you crusty cretin of old! Oops! Um, yeah. A genius inspector? <laughs> you know what this means, right? Come on forward there, Bryden. The charade is up, me silly. Yeah, busted. And with the Warrior of Light here as well, you're not going to have much of a place to go. Huh, yeah. And thus... It's not Ellie? What? Oh no, not again! M Michelle, you look somehow different. What's with the smug look? You have some explaining to do here. This comes right now that we've completed this particular challenge. Yeah, who the heck do you think you are? Well, why don't we find out with this new challenge entitled Truths. Untold. Who is this unfamiliar woman, and what secrets does she hold? Seven hells. Done in by a muscle-bound mountain head and his motley troop of mamas. Just who are you? Your resemblance to any missile is most uncanny, and yet... Uh... Consulting Inspector Bryden. Once again, you failed to measure up to your lofty reputation. Of course we resemble each other. Ali is, after all, my own flesh and blood. My beloved sister and eminently capable partner in crime. A thousand faces I may wear, but only one name do, my, do I bear. You can call me Cece. Charmed, I'm sure. Are you quite alright? Why, you look as if you've seen a ghost! Despite my moniker, I assure you that Ellie and I are no spectres. What we are, mind you, are the last living scions of sudden aristocracy! Bemused, are you? Befuddled to find two sisters behind the mask? Try using your brains once in a while. Every time you encountered the thief, Ellie was standing right in your midst. No, the thief that four times stole the show, and oh, those priceless relics, was me. Meanwhile, Ellie hid in plain sight, supplying me with just the knowledge I needed to stay one step ahead of my pursuers, all while spinning the hair-raising tales of my exploits that won the hearts of this nation. We owe a lot to you, truly. While without the tales of your hapless attempts to catch me, we never could have risen to these heights of celebrity. Uh, Miss Shishi. From a gentleman to a lady, I would ask you one thing and one thing only. Just what is it that you and Michelle hope to accomplish with all of your schemes? Justice! 400 years ago, all dawn dogs reduced our great nation to a nation of zombies! At long last, the cows that would still justify these foul deeds will suffer the same fate! Wait, uh, the history say that it was Zidde that turned their own men into zombies. The history is lying, and you run from the shadows, silencing those who would speak the truth! You should have died with your fellows, false arbiter! Yeah, it looks like she's come to finish the deed. 
It was Uldar that ordered the creation of that dreadful power and wielded it as a weapon against our proud ancestors. The history of your glorious sultanate is built on a lie! What is this madness you speak, woman? Not madness! Truth! The powder in my possession was stolen from the Uldar army four centuries ago by one of my ancestors. They say it was his final act of courage in the moments before his leg fell off and his rotting head dropped from his shoulders. This is the truth that the histories don't tell. The truth that this doe-eyed sultan sworn would kill to keep buried deep in the sands of Thanalan! Oh, but your reckoning time of reckoning is nigh. Oh, Leth, yes, look, before long, you and everyone in this rotten nation will know firsthand the horrors my ancestors knew. And just what do you mean by that? Oh, how the idiots lap up the stories. A mass crusader for justice. A dashing rebel, waging battle against power and authority. Oh, if they only knew. But they will see soon enough when they're eating each other's brains out on the streets. In the last days before our proud nation was raised to the ground, a band of the final survivors stole a vast quantity of the powder from the Uldan vaults, hiding in a way in a secret vault sealed with powerful magics. The sole means by which the vault may be opened? By assembling four secret relics from Baladia. Four relics once housed in the royal palace of Silda before the Uldan dogs stole them and claimed them for their own. And so it dawns upon you at last. Yes, even as we speak, Ellie makes for the vault, the four relics safely in hand. Just think, one day you'll be able to tell your grandchildren you were there when zombie powder rained down on Uldar. Oh no, wait! You'll all be dead! Preposterous! Well, we'd better do something about this before it's too late. And shouldn't we be taking this girl into custody? I mean, she is the Phantom Thief after all. But first... You, my dear captain, you will not even have the pleasure of looking upon the last moments of your precious homeland. Let your flesh rot like all of your rotten lies! Uh-oh, I think not Mashishi. Oh, taking a hit for the team. And out like a light. Hidabranda! Just for once, could you not get in the way? And now, oh, it's the sh it's the person in the shadow. God, but Mandeville, I can't even trust your sorry ass to look after him for a day. Wait a minute, who are you? Yeah, couldn't you have done that like thirty seconds sooner, whoever you are? I knew it! The presence watching us from over the shadows. It was you, my dear wife! Um, wow. And that's how I make you a sugar daddy. I get the feeling that she is not your first wife, is she? And I think he's about to go insane. Or is she going in still going insane? Yeah, like, don't cross an angry woman with a frying pan. Ahem, am I to understand that you are Hildebrand's mother? Yeah, I know you want to make your advance there, Gilgamesh. Yeah, and here he comes. Aye, oh, this is more like it. Hand to hand, skillet to skillet. It's enough to send a warrior's pulse racing. Prepare yourself, Edie, the time for our final confrontation is nigh. Are we really gonna fight right now, Gilgamesh? Don't you have a better time for this? Yeah, because she said so. Yeah, as deadly as Godbird is with a mallet, this young lady, Julian, is just as deadly with a skillet. Do you have puppeteers to brain you of a stuffed buffoon? My beloved boy has been turned into a stinking corpse if you hadn't bloody noticed! You! Edie or something, was it? 
Uh, why am I being involved in this? Don't hurt me. Uh, Hildes told me all about your hijinks together. Uh, pleased to meet you. Yeah, I think she's also a schizo. My dear boy's always had a bit of a rebellious streak. What can I say? I can come on a bit too strong at times. But can you blame me? This time I thought I'd sit back and leave things to my sorry old husband here and look at what that got me. You'll help me out, won't you? Uh, do I have a... Yeah. Yeah, whatever you say, ma'am. I don't want you to hurt me over the head with a skillet either. Like, I'll, I'll do whatever you say. Don't just chase after me and bash my head in with a skillet. I don't want to end up with my ass sticking up in the air like the other three. Um, but yeah, look at the carnage that is left. I think we're gonna need a moment to call this a day and then just take stock of what just happened here because, yeah, everything has just 180 itself right through the wall and then some. Yeah, because literally, of course, because you saw Gilgamesh get nailed through a wall. So, if anything else, this mystery just got a whole lot crazier. And so with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Around Reborn. And when I join you again, we will reluctantly and very nervously, out of necessity, assist Julian with whatever she wants us to do next. So, until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.